let's talk about all things tech. My name is Emilio. I love the Mac and I love Windows, but I like the Mac just that little bit more. So you may be asking yourself, self, why would I switch over to a Mac? I mean, I've been using Windows for a long time. Maybe, maybe you've been using Linux. Great, good for you. But now you're considering the Mac, something new, something fresh. Now you're probably gonna fall into one of three camps. One, you're okay with the Mac. You like the Mac and you're watching this video because you wanna know about the Mac a little bit more and why it's a little bit better than Windows. The second thing, you may just not really care. You'll use whatever you are given. Or well, the third thing, which I find these people perplexing, they just hate the Mac. I'm sure you like to get into fights about the Mac and how it's crap and why other people suck because they like the Mac over Windows. So comment below, let us know if you're one of those people and let's just see whether we can uh, discuss things in a civil way. This video, we're gonna be talking about benefits that the Mac has. Not necessarily better than Windows, but some things that are maybe a little bit easier to do than Windows. Maybe some things that are actually better than on a Windows computer. Before we do get into this, here is today's tech failure. You know Apple Maps. Everybody knows about Apple Maps. If you've got an iPhone, you've heard about Apple Maps. You've also heard about the competitor Google. But did you know that when Apple Maps was first released in 2012, it was actually riddled with problems. There was bugs. It was really introduced to really compete with the big platform at the time, Google Maps, which of course was around for a long time. However, the app was criticized for its inaccuracies and other tech issues. And embarrassingly, Apple was forced to issue a public apology. And here's this, they even suggested to its users to start using a competing map platform, Google Maps, until it sorted its stuff out. You may not actually need the antivirus software on your Mac as much as you will on Windows. Now look, years and years ago, you really probably could have gotten away with no antivirus whatsoever on the Mac because the reality is the bigger market share, the company that had more computers out there was Microsoft. So Apple was a very, very small, small little thing, right? It's it's much bigger now. But back then there was only a small cult-like following for the Mac and that's why you really didn't need to protect it very much because all of the bad people out there, there was no real benefit for them to go and write malicious code, malicious software, viruses for the Mac because what's in it for them? You know, you're gonna get a lot more bang for your buck if you go up against Windows. But overall, Macs are less susceptible to malware and other security threats. I know Mac users who've been using the Mac for years and years and years and have never had any antivirus installed at all and they've never had a problem. While Windows computers, for the most part, you're gonna get something on there pretty quickly if you don't have any sort of antivirus or malware protection or anything like that. Now you are also gonna find that the resale value of a Mac is generally going to be better than a Windows computer. You know, if you buy yourself a Dell, a HP, a Lenovo, you're gonna find that it's not gonna sell as well as opposed to if you have a Mac. If you get yourself a MacBook, a MacBook Pro, any of the other Mac lineup computers, they're probably gonna hold their resale value a little bit better. So if you're gonna buy a computer, you're gonna probably find that the Mac in a number of years, if you wanna sell it, you wanna upgrade it, you're gonna probably get a little bit more money out of it. Now, another one is their sleek design. I mean, you've gotta be living under a rock if you have not picked up the fact that Apple knows how to design stuff that looks good. Even if you are a Apple hater, you can't say that a MacBook is just not like a work of art that the iPhone, when it first came out and it was like the only thing before Android, it just looked nice and it's just a sexy looking piece of hardware. Windows computers, on the other hand, not so much. You get a laptop and they stick all these stickers on them. Like it says i7 and it says it's running an Nvidia graphics card and it's doing all of these other things. It's like, well, the end user, most people who buy a computer, don't really care for that and it just makes the thing look ugly. Unless you're a tech head and you really need to know what's inside of it, what's the point of having all these stickers on there? And then the different colors, it didn't match, it's like black and there's silver and there's white and there's off shades of grays. It's like, nah, Apple looks good. It just looks nice. And that's probably why they have a little bit of a better resale value also. Now, because I'm a tech guy, I actually enjoy the Linux operating system as well. I think that Linux, is superior in lots and lots of ways because you can just get in under the hood and just play around with stuff. And if you know the command line of Linux, you can do a lot of cool things. And the nice thing about the Apple 
products is that they're actually built on Unix. And if you like coding, you know, maybe you're a developer, a programmer, you can do a lot of cool stuff. So on the Mac, you've got this thing called the terminal. Essentially, it's a built-in application, allows developers, programmers, anybody else who likes command line stuff to interact with the operating system. You can automate tasks, you can debug code. You've also got a whole range of open source software that you've got access to. You've got Ruby, Python, Git. So as a Mac user, you can easily access and take advantage of all these software packages. Something that is really good that Apple has done extremely well is that Mac products, Apple products, integrate really, really well together. You get a device and then you get another device. Like you get one of the devices, one of the Apple iPhones, and you get yourself a Mac, and you're just gonna find that they're uh, friendly with each other. You're integrated into the Apple ecosystem, which a lot of people love and they dig that because hey, it just makes everything just work really, really seamless. On the flip side though, some people don't like that because then you're sort of stuck. And that's a little bit of Apple's marketing sort of thing, right? Apple does like to sort of grab you and hold on to you and make you as loyal as possible because you, it's sort of hard to get out. Like that's an example why I've got an Apple Watch, even though I sort of do like the uh, Android competitors, but I'm sort of so in the Apple ecosystem that I'm sort of stuck, can't get out. Now, apart from the integration and the fact that the whole thing just looks really, really nice, Apple does have a really, really good user interface. User experience is key. Apple is big into this. They want to make it just work. They want to have somebody use it and it's just, easier to use. Now you may be somebody who's asking yourself and saying, hey, I'm a Windows user and every time I pick up the Mac, it's just, it's so confusing. It just doesn't work. It doesn't do what I want it to do. There's no start menu. Well, it's because it's not a Windows computer, it's a Mac. So it is gonna be slightly different, but I would say that if you've never used, if you've never used a computer ever in your life, your grandma, you go and give her a computer for the very first time, a Windows computer versus a Mac, I reckon, that they're gonna find the Mac a little bit easier to use. A lot of this does have to do with the whole fact that if you're in the ecosystem of Apple with all of their products, everything just flows really, really well and it's just a really, really nice operating system. Now these next two are fairly similar, but they're also directly related, and that is security and privacy. Apple takes security and privacy extremely serious. Now one main reason for that is because Apple's products generally are a little bit more closed than others. And some people don't like that, but at the same time, it gives you a lot of advantages around security and privacy. Like just straight out of the box, if you download an application that is not trusted or not digitally signed or approved by Apple, then it's gonna flag it as potentially malicious or suspicious. And you almost have to then go and say, yeah, this is fine. I've downloaded this, I know what it is. I'm happy to take the risk and then get it set up. Mac OS also has built-in encryption. Now I know, yes, you do have encryption on Windows, but I like the fact that it's easy to use on the Mac. So you can encrypt your files and your data using the file Vault application. So this is one of the main reasons that security is uh, so good on the Mac and that's why you don't necessarily need an antivirus software unless you really want to because they've considered privacy and security when they've been building the whole operating system. They have really, really good customer support. The Reddit is one of the best when it comes to customer support. So if you've got yourself an iPhone, an iPad or a Mac, and you've got any problems, troubleshooting, you need to take it down to an Apple store, much better support than you will if you want to interact with Microsoft. Let us know down below, are you a Mac or a Windows person? Do the like, subscribe thing. And also, if you wanna know more about the Mac, I do have a training course on a whole bunch of stuff, on other stuff in tech, you can check down below. And also, if you wanna make sure that your Mac is always running schmick, Clean My Mac is an app that I love, you can check it down below in the link. I've got a link directly to it, you can go and download it. And there you have it. Next video, continuing to talk about all things tech. We'll see you then.